When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end. Of a storm, there's a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a love. Walk on through the wind. for the soul of Eugene O'Callaghan and it is certainly tragic that at the age of 38 years he has been taken from you and you are shattered at his passing but I know from meeting the family the greatest consolation that you have today is that Eugene's earthly suffering of mind and body which he endured for <coughs> some years has now ended and we pray that Eugene is finally finding lasting peace in the presence of God his creator. We pray that peace and consolation will also fill you, his family, offering our sympathy and prayers to his parents, Maureen and John, and especially to John, who laid to rest his sister, Philomena, yesterday, Eugene's brothers, Sean, who is in Australia and sadly could not be here, and Gary, here with us, his nieces and nephews, uncles, and all the extended family. So as we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist, let us place ourselves in the presence of God, mindful of his mercy as we ask for peace upon Eugene's soul and forgiveness for all our sins. <coughs> First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the virtuous are in the hands of God. 
no torment shall ever touch them. In the eyes of the unwise, they did appear to die. Their going looked like a disaster. They are leaving us like an elimination, but they are in peace. If they experienced punishment as men see it, their hope was rich with immortality. Slight was their affliction, great will their blessings be. God has put them to rest and proved them worthy to be with him. He has tested them like gold in a furnace and accepted them as a holocaust. When the time comes for his visitation, they will shine out. As sparks run through the stubble, so will they. They shall judge nations, rule over peoples, and the Lord will be the king forever. They who trust in him will understand the truth. Those who are faithful will live with him in love, for grace and mercy await those he has chosen. The word of the Lord. of Job. Ah, what well, that these words of mine were written down, inscribed in some monument with iron chisel and engraving tool, cut into the rock forever. This I know, that my inventor lives, and he, the last, will take this stand on earth. After my awakening, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will gaze on him and find him not aloof. The word of the Lord. Together as family, friends and neighbours, you always made Eugene feel like he was wanted, needed and welcome, no matter how fragile or broken he had become. The greatest consolation we have today is by virtue of his baptism. Eugene will at last be enjoying God's everlasting and eternal peace, a peace that only God can give. In the end, the only one who truly knows and understands each of us fully is God. He knit us together in our mother's wombs. He sees our wounds and our scars, our sorrows and our handicaps, our hopes and our longings. It is these that Jesus will look to because Jesus came not to be our judge but to be our saviour. May Eugene find a place in God's eternal home, the home of the risen Christ. May he rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
We now continue with our prayer of the faithful. So I invite Stephen, Naomi, Martin, Tracy, and Celine now please to come forward and lead us in our intentions. And let us stand together as we offer our prayers. For our brother Yuji, let us now pray to our Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. We pray. <clears throat> we pray for all those who are sick at the present time. We especially pray for those who suffer from mental health and addiction issues. God, grant them courage and strength to seek help. We ask you, Lord, to hear this silent prayer in our hearts. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our departed family and friends, and especially Aunt Philly, who passed away this week. May God welcome Jean into his heavenly home of eternal peace and happiness. Lord, hear us. Lord, we pray for our young people. May they always value goodness and friendship. May they see the beauty of the gift of human life. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious we pray for Father Murphy and ask God to reward him for his support and kindness at this difficult time. Lord, hear us. Lord, gracious we pray for our friends and our neighbours and give thanks that their kindness during this sad time <clears throat> May God reward and bless their homes with happiness and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord God, whose days are without end and whose mercies be uncounting, keep us mindful that life is short and the hour of death unknown. Let your Spirit guide our days on earth in the ways of holiness and justice, that we may serve you in union with the whole Church, sure in faith, strong in hope, perfected in love, and when our earthly journey is ended, lead us rejoicing into your kingdom. Will you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer, through the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm For the distribution of Holy Communion, if you please just come forward one pew at a time. He only took my hand. Last night, while we were trying to sleep, my son's voice I did hear. I opened my eyes and looked around, but he did not appear. He said, man, da, you've got to listen. You've got to understand. God didn't take me from you, man, da. He only took my hand. When I called out in pain that day, the moment that I died, he reached down and took my hand and pulled me to his side. He pulled me up and saved me from the misery and pain. My body was hurt so badly I could never be the same. My search is really over now. I found happiness within. All the answers to my empty dreams and all that might have been. I love you all and miss you so and I'll always be nearby. My body's gone forever but my spirit will never die. And so you must all go on now and live and understand. God did not take me from you. He only took my hand. Our Lady of Knock, pray for us. St. Lawrence O'Toole, pray for us. St. Padre Pio, pray for us. Let us pray. Grant we pray, Almighty God, that your servant duty whom has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And thank you all to the family members who led us in our readings, our prayer of the faithful, 
and our reflection and our thanks to uh, Antoinette and Liam for their beautiful music and song today. We continue to pray for each other. The Lord be with you. Let us offer our final prayers of commendation. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Eugene. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And as we pray for a moment in silence for the soul of Eugene, we sprinkle his coffin with holy water, a sign and a symbol of his baptism in Christ, and incense, a sign and a symbol of our prayers rising to heaven, that the Lord may have mercy on his soul. A response to receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant upon him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most time. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Eugene in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the many blessings which you bestowed upon Eugene in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant Eugene, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith, until we all meet in Christ, and we are with you and with our brother Eugene forever and ever. Amen. In peace, let us now take our brother Eugene to his place of rest. Remember me when there 
there's no one holding you Anytime you feel like you can't make it through Remember me and I will be with you Remember me whenever Father says the Lord that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me and that I should raise it up on the last day. O God by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest we ask you now to bless this grave. Send your holy angel to watch over this grave as we now bury the body of our brother Eugene. For the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he has risen the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our brother Eugene to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day. So art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hi, 
sent home in old Ireland, in the county of Armagh. And I will be with you.